Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 24th of August 2023. How are you doing fellow Sudokans? Let's hope you are keeping well, enjoying yourself. <clears throat> I've been trying to strenuously avoid any uh, news from the Republican presidential candidacy debate because could you imagine a group of slimier individuals than those who are going to stand up excluding the, uh, the the orange one who's not there what a bunch of horrible people um, just just quite horrific people slimy toads a lot of them so I've been trying to uh, avoid any coverage of them apparently uh, I mean I couldn't avoid any all of the headlines <coughs> But according to one headline, uh, one newcomer uh, is a climate denialist, climate change denialist, and who shouted things like, let's let's drill and frack and burn as much oil as we could possibly can, or words to that effect. Yeah. Right. And uh, also in the US, um, in South Carolina, all male um, panel has said that six weeks... Uh, is the limit for abortion and of course six weeks means total abortion because so many women don't know that they're pregnant before six weeks so basically a total abortion ban in reality and uh, I wonder if the rest of the world could help um, the US you know um, the US used to make a big thing about human rights right they still do they go blabber on about it about China and stuff like that um, but I mean the rest of the world you know civilized Europe could perhaps threaten sanctions against the US if it doesn't live up to its human rights um, you know threaten maybe um, trade embargoes and things like that it's time for the rest of the world to get serious because America clearly is has lost its it, it has lost its sanity so maybe the rest of the world could help okay let's get back to the game of um, Sudoku and I have not seen anything despite my eyes zipping up and down the columns and rows I haven't seen anything uh, that I can place yet so that's not a good start is it um, hmm let's click on the digits maybe I'm just my eyes are just missing stuff so let's have a quick click on the digits and see if I, I can spot anything like this but I didn't see anything Oh, I do see something. I did see the nines before. I spotted the nines up here, but now I've just noticed there's a three up here as well. So this is a pair of three and nine. What will that tell us? It will tell us that four and seven have to be up in this section. Seven up here, four for any of those three squares. Fours will be down here. Sevens will be here. That won't help a great deal, will it? Um, what else do we know? Remarkably little, I think. Ah, we do know something. Okay, 9 is in one of these two squares here. So 9 blocking across here like this. 9 blocking across here. 9 blocking up. And also, nine, well, the 9 blocking down is slight. Yes, that's true too. 9 across here, which will put 9 into one of those squares, blocking back up there, wandering around and around. I seem to have been going off on these rambles recently around the Sudoku grid. We get a 9 there, so that's at least one thing. Right, back again, 3 and 9 here. Is there anything else that we know? Hmm. Well, I don't know. Well, I was going to go through the digits uh, bit by bit. I do have a little bit more information, and I just, uh, not more, but something I didn't realize the first time. One block's up here like this, so we've got ones in those squares and there. I didn't spot that the first time around, but anyway, I've seen it now. Okay.
four across here, four up there, so four in one of those two squares going back in this direction. That was going to give us a four there. Five this way, so five in one of those two squares, blocking this direction. We'll get five there. All right, let's see what's lacking across here. It's six and seven, isn't it? So we've got the seven blocking up here. So here's the seven, and here's the six. Now I wonder if we can get come back and see if anything changed up here. This was what did I say? Three and nine. Three and nine, right? Okay, so three nine in those squares. So now we have six, four, and seven blocking up here. So this has to be six, four, and seven, right? Three nine, six, four, seven, I think. Three nine. Six, four, seven. So this will be an eight if that's true. Hmm. Uh, now, if this is six, four, seven, what will we be left with down here? We're going to have one, two, six, four, seven, one. One, two, and eight. So we got a one and eight blocking across here, then that's going to be a two. Ah, two up here, two down there gives us two in that square. Now I said 3 and 9 in those squares there, but clearly this 9 blocks both of those squares, so that must be the location of 9. That must be the location of 3. And we'll be left down here with 3 and 5. Uh, now this was 6, 4, 7, so this is 1... One and eight. Uh, but eights could go there. And I don't know which is. Okay, so get that here. six across here and across here we'll put a six into that square four across here and four blocking down here now four is one of our missing numbers blocking down there so that has to be a four in that square four across here across here and down here will give us four in that square we'll have fours up there uh, too many places there Okay, we don't have 9 in this column yet. We have 9 blocking here and blocking here, so that is the 9. And this will be 1 and 8. The 8s, uh, we don't know. So this has got to be 1, 8 as well. Yep, makes sense.
three five one eight. Okay. Uh, well, I was going at a reasonable pace, and I seem to have slowed again. Uh, let me just draw in a few blue squares just to help me. Ah, okay, one is one of our missing digits here, right? So one blocking across here, one blocking up here, one across there, one is there or there. Blocking down, that has to be our digit one then. Uh, okay, I think missing across here, we're looking for 359, aren't we? 359, yes we are. We've got 3 and 5 here, so then this is going to be a 9. 9 blocking across here, across here, down here, and down here means there's our 9. And that's our first completed digit. Okay, now we have two down here, down here, and across there, so that's two. Ah, this is good. Two blocking this square, two blocking this square, two blocking this square, and two blocking this square in this column. That's the two. Well, it might come in handy, I don't know, but I see sevens have to be in those squares. So sevens are here, which is going to put them there. Uh, what else do we have here? Six. Eight. 
Is this a three? Um, let me just uh, bear with me a moment. I'm going to count through just in case it turns out to be a single. Oh, no, it could be a six, couldn't it? No, it's not. Okay, it might be a three. It's not one. It's not two. It could be three. It's not four. It's not five. It's not six. It's not seven. It's not eight. It's not nine. It is a three. Okay. Now, it's normally quite difficult to find singles, but um, we've got a lot of uh, stuff here, so it's not quite so difficult here. That's a three. Then three's blocking down like so. That's a three there. Three across here. Three down there gives me the three there. Excuse me. Threes across here and across here means that's our three three going up to the top up here there's the final digit three six blocks these squares we don't have six in this column yet it must go there Missing numbers down here are five and seven. So this will not be five or seven, it must be eight. Eight blocking across here and down here means there's our eight. Eight blocking up here gives us the eight here. Um, and this is a one. We also have one blocking down there. There's our digit one, one across here one across here there's one one up here up here and across there there's a digit one one across across and up so that finishes off the ones Oh, there's one number missing here. Let's do that next. That's a five by the looks of it. Five blocks across here. There's our five. Five blocking this way. There's a five. And the missing digit here is seven. Five blocks this square. We need a five in this column. So there's our five. And we'll also go five back this way and up here. Oops not that one to finish off the fives no that didn't finish them we not finished the fives why not we got one over here that's why five blocking over here there's our last five that's more like it now here we need a seven seven blocking across here gives me the seven in that square seven blocking down seven is there seven up to the top and up here means there's our seven seven this way seven that way there's a seven um, Four, six, uh, one number missing down here. Hey, what are you, dear friend? Two. And now there's this one digit missing up here, which is uh, six, I think. Okay, we have six blocking up here, giving us a six there. Six blocking across here means that's a six. Six blocking this way gives the six there the last number to place in this row is a four we need a four for this we need a four here as well and a four blocking up here means we can place the final four there this is going to be an eight eight blocks this way here's our eight and the last number here is a two so a very straightforward uh, Los Angeles expert level puzzle I always have to think what one I'm playing depends on the time of day usually see you around bye bye